Hello, I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at one of the Tony Rugo's copper creations here. Uh, this is going, he calls this the lilies and mushrooms. Looks more like a toadstool, but lilies and mushrooms is what the name of it is. Uh, you got some uh, leaf come up here. Now this is all copper, so it's not going to rust. Um, it's very well made. I mean, you can pull on it and bend it. And matter of fact, you're on your end when you're setting it up, you can do all those things. You want to pull that out. You know, you kind of pull it out, splay it out a little bit more if you want to. Uh, just be aware. It is very well made. Just be aware when you're doing it not to get too rough with it. Um, but you can see you can bend all these leaves and things like that. Uh, he had the pliers when we set this up and he was bending those to get the water to flow where you wanted them to flow. So things like that is copper. So copper uh, is bendable. So you can bend that around uh, and kind of make it uh, make it your own. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful fountain, beautiful copper fountain. Uh, I've known Tony a long time. Uh, he used to make little smaller tabletop fountains and uh, I hadn't seen him in many years. And now uh, he happened to come here to the store and got to talking to him. And uh, this is his first one that he's made. He will be making more. Uh, so this one is uh, coming down and you see a series that comes out right up here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you want to call it tears, uh, the water is kind of coming out and going different places. It does go down into these little uh, copper bowls. Uh, but it does kind of flow down some of the leaves and things like that too. And those are adjustments he made when he hooked it up. It does have a copper base, uh, so the whole thing is actually copper. Uh, it does have some color on it. I'll get up close here to show you. He has added uh, a patina to it, and this is not a, a paint. Uh, he's done that with heat. Uh, so it's going to be on there forever, and of course it's copper, it'll patina out anyway. Uh, but it is uh, kind of a green, I see some rust, some red, and I'll try to get up close with the camera here and, and show you up close. The sound is really, it's really got a nice sound. It's almost like, this one reminds me of like a light rain on a tin roof. That's kind of what it's the best way for me to describe uh, the sound on this particular fountain. It is attractive all the way around, there is no front or back. Uh, lighting, I've, I've seen this with light, we had it set up inside. I think it's a lot more, uh, shows a lot better at night than it does during the day, even uh, the light shining on that copper uh, kind of gives you uh, uh, you know, some reflection there. So I think nighttime is gonna be the best uh, viewing for these copper fountains. Right now, I'll grab the camera, we'll take a close up look, uh, and uh, hopefully you can catch the uh, sound to it. As we get closer here, and get out of my shadow out of, out of the way here so you can maybe get a better sense of the color. And it does just connect with the hose right down there. Of course, we don't have that basin entirely covered with stone, but you would on your end so that you don't see any of that basin. Uh, we got a little glass mixed in there too. Uh, we set the other fountains up on this too, so we'll probably end up taking this right back down uh, and setting something else up here to shoot a video with. As always, if you have any questions about any of our products, you can reach us at 540-948-2239 or boulderfountain at gmail.com.